Right, good afternoon guys. Just going to have a quick look at one thing that I noticed the other day was you've got obviously all of your um, face eye detection on all your different subjects. Obviously planes don't have eyes, but everything, oh and cars. But um, yeah, basically we can look at, into the recognition of our targets. So we've got obviously uh, human, animal and bird mixture, so it automatically chooses. But if you only really want to shoot animals, you can, or birds or insects, uh, or cars stroke trains, which I didn't realize it had trains, I didn't actually pay attention there. So it's trains, planes, and automobiles, we've got that section, um, and airplanes, obviously. So go back to human, we can actually now uh, go in to there, and we can actually say uh, tracking shift range standard, or whatever, and I've just left it as standard, it seems to be pretty good. And you think, oh, okay, that, that just gives me a thing, but when you go into the next ones, so we've got animal and bird. We have got a lot more stuff going on here. And, you know, it's it's nuts. You can set, even though the mixture, you can set it to priority on animals or birds. <clears throat> you can also do uh, eye, head and body, which I personally leave it on. Uh, you can have eye and head. You can have eye only. Um, and you can set it at follow individual set. We've also got you know, you can choose it basically there. It gives you the options so you can reduce the options. Detail settings. So now we've got tracking shift range, tracking persistence level, recognition sensitivity, and recognition part, and recognition part uh, selection settings. So if we go into tracking shift range, it's still standard. Um, I need to try this. I haven't really messed around with it. I did a little bit of um, adjustment, just tweaked it up to like four. And I don't know if it was, you know, a bit more um, sensitive, you know, whatever. And the sensitivity there, you can also do the same. So you've got a lot of sensitivity there. And in basically you've got this individual settings if you're going to um, animals or birds. But then if you go into insects, you've got it a separate uh, one there. But then planes and trains, you've got the same sort of thing. And then, uh, sorry, cars and trains, and then planes, you've got the same sort of thing. So, yeah, pretty mad. And and in standard mode, it seems to be pretty flawless. Uh, I will have a little play and see if it becomes a bit more snappy. The fact that you've got that much just in one little menu... Um, you've got that much uh, control over it all is is crazy and you know the a7r5 is the only other camera that has this at the minute um so it does make the something like the a1 seem a little bit far behind but i did take out the a1 the other evening uh, i was shooting the swallows again and the autofocus is still noticeably faster um you haven't got as much um obviously customization and stuff like that in in the AIF side of things but it was sticking to the swallows flying around all over the shop um, much much quicker uh, noticeably quicker actually even though this uh, autofocus system on the uh, A6700 is actually um, more intelligent uh, so what I've done is actually I've put the recognition target and everything into my FN button so basically I can just go into there and uh, find it and adjust whatever I need to do. You could probably set it as a custom button, but I find the FN button works just as well. Um, there, so um, just a quick look into it, guys. I'll be back with another video once I've messed around, see if it's actually more um, snappy or a bit more controllable, or um, you know, a couple of times occasionally where it's locked onto a plant or whatever, thinking it was an eye. Uh, so, you know, those things sort of happen as well. But, yeah, interesting to see. Um, anyway, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Let me know what you think about this. Um, are you really that bothered about recognition of eyes and faces and planes and cars and things? Um, the car one I definitely noticed was quite useful at uh, Brooklands when we were watching the Mercedes world over the fence. And it, as the car went past, it would ignore the fence and actually, or the barrier, um, and stay on the car, which I thought was quite cool. Uh, planes... It picked one out of the sky on the previous video I've put up. 
much quicker than I could actually see the plane. That was quite impressive. But at the same time, you know, how much use is it really going to be? But I suppose if I go to an air show next week, uh, we'll soon find out. I shall try it out and let you know. But uh, yeah, until then, um, like I say, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. Questions, feel free to comment below. Um, follow me on Instagram as well if you wouldn't mind. And uh, chat soon.